Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Sway Window Manager and the LXD desktop environment. So first of all we log in. First of all we're going to install the DBus eLogin D dependency. our password. It's installing that. Then we're going to install the poll kit D dependency. But it's actually just poll kit, not poll kit D. Installing that. Next we're going to install the eLogin D dependency. Install that. Then we're going to install the Mesa DRI dependency. So download that and install that. Let's install it. This takes a little while. packing everything. Then we're going to install the XSORG fonts. This will take a while to build the font cache after it's installed in the fonts. So that's installed now. This will take a little while. Okay, and now we're going to install GVFS. It's installing that now. Installed. Now we're going to install Sway itself, the Sway Window Manager. Then we're going to install Xterm and the Foot Terminal. Sway will use the Foot Terminal by default. Now we just start Sway, but we have to set the run to XDG runtime DR environmental var environment variable. So we edit our bash RC, we type in export X XDG underscore runtime underscore DR equals tilde, let's say under actually slash dot sway. And we're gonna create that folder in a minute. 
We're going to create that directory in a minute. Excellent, save that. We made the sway directory. I'm going to enable some services. Enable the DBus service. Enable the Polkit Daemon Daemon service. Exit. Re log in. Reset. Start swaying. It starts fine with the default background and the default default bindings and time format, date time date format. So put off enough info, we put up our disk space usage. Now we're going to copy the provided sway configuration, base configuration, to a local directory, but we have to create that first. So we're going to make a config sway subdirectory, and then our local config. Then we are going to copy the provided base configuration from Etsy. So we config to our local configuration dot config slash way in our home directory. Now we're going to edit our local configuration file and set a few things up. So we've got our preferred terminal is set to foot, as I said it would be earlier. I like to enclose the let's do those in paths, even if it's just as one word. I like to enclose them in, qu in, in close them in quotes, I mean. Now we're going to set our preferred browser to Firefox, which we're going to install in a minute. So I set the browser variable to Firefox dash Wayland in quotes. Single quotes I've used here. I think you can use double quotes to different manners. But I use single quotes. I can show you that line is how you set the wallpaper, which we will do later. And I'm going to change the kill focus window from mod shift Q to mod shift P which I prefer and the mod key is the windows or super key by default in sway with the configuration here. Now I'm gonna set a key binding to launch our browser which is fire default browser which is Firefox which we'll install in a minute. This could be the super key plus shift plus B and that will execute the browser variable which we would set to Firefox Wayland. Now we're going to scroll down and we are going to scroll up just to show you the complete configuration. We're only changing a very little bit of it. You see that output BG line is where we set our wallpaper but there will be a tool. I'll show you in a later video how to configure that in a little bit more convenient way. Okay, next set. And now we are going to install Firefox. Enter our password. Yes. Wait for yes. I'm installing Firefox and its dependencies. installed and exit the terminal press mod shift B to launch a browser so that's the super or Windows key on your keyboard by default so Windows key plus shift plus B to launch Firefox or or super key plus shift plus B for Firefox I'm just gonna set up Firefox a little bit I'm gonna go into the settings I'm gonna make it our pre default browser I'm going to configure the fonts so that we use our fonts override website select fonts because the fonts are a bit dodgy on void unless you do this. Now we clear the data, cancel, we make it delete the data when we close. 
I'm going to install some extensions. Well, I'm going to set the theme first to the dark theme. That's just personal preference. Now I'm going to install some extensions. First of all, I'm going to install the I still don't care about cookies extension, which will disable except cookies prompts as we have in the EU and UK just now because it's a directive so this will just enable we'll just click through and set the minimum amount of cookies automatically I believe so yeah install that now I'm going to search for the my TUI display manager or log on screen program from GitHub, found the GitHub repository, the page for it, I should say. And that's what we're going to install a nice TUI display manager log on screen. So, pull up another terminal with Alt Shift Enter. No, not Alt Shift Enter, sorry, Super Key Shift Enter to bring that up. Or super or Windows key or mod key basically. Now we're going to install the dependencies for this Pam Devil and lib xcb devil. So the libraries we need. And GCC, the, which will provide our C compiler, because this is our C program we need to compile. So install those. I've already installed them off cam, off recording, but you get the idea you install this. Now we clone the repository and its sub modules by copying that command, get rid of the dollar sign, which just means it's an unelevated shell. But we obviously don't want that. First of all, I'm going to make a directory build from the source, that's why I like to com put my programs I'm going to compile. And we're going to. Um, Again, find go back and we're scrolling back in history to get the clone command. Again, get rid of that dollar, which just means it's an unelevated shell. And we're cloning LY and it's de and it's dependent submodules. It's dependencies for submodules. Now I'm going to clear the screen, list the LI, navigate into it. There you see there's this code. There's a source code in source. Now I'm going to go to the repository for this channel, my, my repository, Sam's channel, gitlab.com forward slash sams.channel, that's the, the, the GitLab for this channel. And I'm going to click on projects, and I'm going to go to void patches. This, is pa this will contain patches for the void Linux systems like this one. Copy, gonna clone the HTTPS clone. Copy that. Gonna CD out of this directory into the build from source directory. Gonna copy the URR and then git clone on that to download our patches. I'm gonna CD into void patches. No, I'm sorry. CD into um, the source directory for LY. sudo xbs installed and install the patch program. So we can apply a patch. The patch has already been installed. I just have done that off recording of the video. So list the source code. Now we're going to patch the config.c file with a file from our void patches. So build from source, void patches, LY, the LY power off patch. And this will convert it, the power off. F1 power off command on that the login screen, the LY login screen, so it shuts down the way for void because the, the the way it's specified it doesn't work with, with void Linux. If I, if I found so that's why I wrote the patch and basically replaces our shut down a now command with a power off command which will work on void Linux. And now we have to basically go back to the top LY directory and build it as per the instructions. So run make, it's going to compile it, including our changes from the patch. 
and the way it says it, uh, Void is a, uses Runit initialization system, so we don't have to build it for Runit. So the service for Runit. So make. So sudo make install install run it install and why it's installed the right service. Now we have to remove the HTTY TTY2 service because that's the default log on screen before when we didn't have our Y we don't need it both running at once or cause issues. So we're gonna delete we navigated into var service and we're gonna remove the HTTY TTY to service. So sudo rm. Oh, first of all, we don't enable the, the light the, the ly service. We just compiled. So yeah, we link we link that with LNS. You see, it's up there. Sway. Log in. Enter our password, and we're in a new session. And we're doing a Back from, now we get back into the services active services directory. The only enabled services directory, I should say, and we are going to remove HTTP2 fish and die because we need to use sudo because it's root protected. Belongs to the roots user to our password correctly, and then it's gone. And that's we see you see we have ly in that list. Now we can exit out of sway by pressing super key or Windows key or or an E. To exit. Now we're going to log into Sway. You can select, you can select your to log into the shell. Or well, we can select to log into Sway at this point because we have Sway installed. And the well, virtual machine has been stopped there, but we'll just start the virtual machine again. Start up. Full screen. Again to the shell. Now we press sudo xbs install s and we're going to install xorg and the LXD desktop environment. This is useful sometimes to have a desktop environment for desktop environment as well as or just window manager. So like stuff like controlling the volume and stuff can be easy if you haven't configured the window manager to do that yet. So we're going to install it. So I, I think it's good to have LHD yet. Yeah, so the fallback. And it also install the PC fi file man file manager as a component of LHDC on, um, at least on Void Linux that does this. I'm not sure on other systems, but I know it's the case for Void Linux. Might be Finar on Ubuntu, I'm not sure. But I think, yeah, I think it is PC file man, because I think it's the same. The guy who wrote that software also wrote LXDE, it was contributed on LXDE. So, um, I think it is included with LXDE actually. It's a pretty good file manager. More, I think it's more streamlined than uh, Funar, but Funar is a good file manager as well. Graphical file manager. Now we're gonna edit our X in it RC file. We have ex start LXD, which means when we log in to the shell, we type start x, it will it will start LXDE because we created that x in it RC file. Disable the mute, turn the volume up, launch Firefox and the quick quick launch bar, quick launch panel, and that's it. What we want before the website we want before because I had restore pages. My Firefox settings. We're going to go back to our GitLab, Sam's channel, my GitLab, and yeah, that's some of the stuff that's coming up. The, the CLI Sway BG programs are setting the wallpaper in Sway.